Hello and welcome back to the list view tutorial. So this is a continuation tutorial where I'm going to show you how to include extra information in the sub activity of the list view. So for example, in this uh, activity, what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to add a new information uh, when you are clicking on the item in this activity. We are going to add the capital of each of the state in Malaysia. So if you click Johor, it would display the capital of Johor. Okay, Johor Baru. And then when you click uh, Kedah, it will display the capital of Kedah, which is Alustar and so on. So in order to do that, um, we are going to customize the uh, activity sub. All right, the activity sub layout. So click here on the layout, under layout sub. So you will be presented with the, okay, uh, the layout over here. So if you are using constraint layout, you can place a constraint for your application. So when you click here, you will notice that uh, the application will have uh, this for white circle. Okay, blue uh, with a solid white circle, right? Okay, these are called constraint. So in order to make sure that this um, text or view uh, are located at where the it's supposed to be, you need to uh, look at the constraint over here. Okay. And then you need to tie it with the, the corner of the screen. So uh, if you uh, read here, it uh, is written as not horizontally constrained, not vertically constrained. So you can constrain it. Okay. Just like this. Alright, constraint here and then click here and then drag it at the left side. Okay, then it is really constrained. Alright, and then you can just grab it over. Okay, just like this. Okay. So, um, okay, to fine tune the constraint, you can edit the source code. Right, you can edit the source code and then read about the constraint. So this constraint can be um, put here as 32 and 32 dp. Okay, it is much more aesthetically aesthetic. Okay, if you put about 16 to 32 dp. Okay, for a mobile application. So for the state, you can uh, change the state. Alright, okay, we are going to put here state capital. Right, state over here. You change it to state capital. Right. Okay, then you add another text view. Okay, over here. And then you drag here so that it will constrain to uh, this tag. So this another text view will be constrained to this tag. Right. Okay, ensure that you put it at a reasonable distance. Text view. So you can also change the ID. So ID can be capital. You can write it capital and then you click uh, refactor. Okay, then, and then just left the text view over here. It's okay. Okay, and then uh, you can add another information like uh, population. Right? Another information like population. I'm not saying this uh, This is the correct way, but this is the most basic way for you to um, create a, a sub-activity which is tied into the list view. Okay, there are also another way to create uh, an advanced list view. Okay, a moment. Okay, we are going to tie it with the top. Okay, just like this one. Right, this another label we can see that population. All right, and then you can drag this again. Okay, and then you tie this uh, with uh, the top of the text. All right, you constrain it to the top of the text, and then constrain to the population. Okay, so that it may appear so. 
right and then you change the id for this text view and uh, to population okay then we are done okay, afterward you go to the main activity right you create another string okay this string will uh, signify the capital right capital uh, of the state so and then default it type here default and then joho okay joho baru okay kedah alusta and then you may you may get the idea right right okay Okay. Okay, pahang perak and then perlis. Kelapina. Okay, Josh Town, you can write it over here. Okay, remember the line okay you can press enter if it's it exceeded the line so for terengganu is kuala okay terengganu and wp kuala lumpur you could put you could put in kuala lumpur all right okay this is uh seems to be easy all right then go over here you could put here ibu negeri okay string ibu negeri so can change here to capital and then you put here position right and then next uh, you put here intent put extra okay you put here as uh, capital and then you put ibu negeri so you send uh, the capital value of uh, ibu negeri to this intent all right to this intent because you intent you put extra and then from the start activity you get back the the value uh, from here so you could put your string uh, capital equal intent dot get string extra so the name of the string can be uh, capital all right can be capital <clears throat> okay the okay, next uh, our job is to output it to the text view so we need to output the capital here okay state capital over here so we need to look at the id id is capital okay or you can change it to tv capital to signify that it is a, a text view Okay, TV capital. Okay, also can. I change it here. Okay, refactor. We go back to the source code, and then you type with text view TV capital, and then you cast it with text view. And we by, by ID R ID dot TV capital. So here TV capital. So you double click it all right you put it over here so string capital okay next you need to output the text you need to set the text with tv capital okay next you stand by uh, with the emulator and then you click run or play button oops uh, there is a problem so no suitable Okay, sorry, I type TV capital. It's supposed to be capital, only capital. Okay, over here. Alright, over here, capital. Okay, and then you just press uh, press run. Right. Then you type it kedah. So, the capital would be Alusta. And then Kelantan, the capital would be Kota Baru. And then Pulau Pinang, the character would be Georgetown. Right, slight uh, problem with the uh, 
uh, constrain because we forgot to constrain it at the top. So in order to constrain it at the top, right? Uh, we have to. I think we have to connect this top. Okay, this top layer over here to over here. Okay, like this. And then just click and click rerun. Okay, then it's just so happen it uh, align uh, correctly. Dah alusta negeri sembilan seremban era ipoh ke Pulau Pinang Georgetown. So ah. Uh, that's all for our lab session uh, for today. So this is just a very short lab session. So what we have here for the homework is just how to include the population. So uh, same thing. So I leave you here for you to include uh, another uh, information that is to include the population. So that's all uh, for today uh, during which we have already covered how to use uh, basic this view, customize it and then change the title, right? Change the title and then we also use only a single site activity to display information for multiple values or multiple values in the list view. So you can change the list of menu or list of item to anything that you like. This is just only an example for you to follow. So hopefully it will be useful for you in your own project. So the next uh, thing is that you may have uh, to continue it by including the population, right? The population. You can include the population information. Just pass it around using intent per extra and creating the string array, right? We seeing you back on the next video.